Through government assistance, the Bank of the Bahamas has reserved tens of millions of dollars in loan losses. The Minister of State for Finance made the announcement in Parliament this afternoon. Carla Parma was there. State for Finance, the Honorable Michael Alkidis, says while domestic banks throughout the country were challenged due to the spillover from the prolonged softness in the global economy, the Bank of the Bahamas, being the People's Bank, he says, the government acted responsibly. In October, we acted on the balance sheet restructuring, establishing Bahamas Resolve Limited as a government-owned vehicle. Resolve purchased $100 million in commercial loans off, off the Bank of the Bahamas' balance sheet. And for Resolve, Mr. Speaker, the mandate is that it must operate at arm's length from the government and go out and collect the loans that it has acquired. Collection and management of the Resolve portfolio is contracted to the accounting firm Deloitte and Touche, with Resolve being headed by former Central Bank Governor James Smith. With the almost singular purpose of resolve, we are convinced that it will be successful at collections. With $100 million in debt up to June 2014 to stop the losses, Minister Halkida says the government ensured that the financial institution had ample liquidity, placing deposits in the bank amounting to $43 million. We also assisted as the major shareholder with the payment of a preference share dividend of $1.1 million. This approach was also endorsed by the Central Bank of the Bahamas in view of the recapitalization needs which were evident at the time. According to Minister Alkidas, the government has been able to reverse up to $49 million in loan losses in assisting the Bank of the Bahamas. I'm Carla Palmer for ZNS Network News.